Right, we're going to do a boiling experiment. Time how long it takes to boil um, 300 mils of cold water in my Swiss Army Mestin, Swiss Czech Army, um, using my board bomb petrol stove. So it's self pressurised petrol stove. It has one moving part, which is a needle valve at the bottom of the stove. Um, yeah, and we'll, we'll see how long it goes. So, to light the stove, you have to turn it upside down and open the needle valve so some petrol spills out because it needs priming and then we light it. Um, you can see there's a slight breeze. Um, air temperature is about 16 degrees. Humidity is probably about 80 or 90 percent. Um, yeah, so we have to preheat this coil. it's going well. Which it is. Um, you'll hear the stove start to pressurise. You don't normally need quite that much um, petrol to get it to preheat, that, quite that much spillage. Um, but it was certainly effective. Pop that under there and we'll just tweak the um the valve position. We'll see how it goes. So see an actual use for a titanium spork. Um, so this is running on standard, um, standard unleaded petal from a filling station. And we should see, as it heats up, the, um, the burner going, uh, starting to glow red. major advantage I find with this is if I'm going uh, motorcycle camping is that that's a very small stove which puts out a respectable heat output and well because I'm usual in the motorcycle it's uh, I have fuel with me all the time obviously if I was canoeing um, I would need to um, have a separate fuel bottle one thing you do notice with this stove is it is quite noisy Properly going now. Just wait for it to boil. Maybe point out the pot stand is um, is a design I stole off a different type of stove. Just a series of holes drilled in some aluminium plate, then cut in the middle. Um, it's going to need remaking at some point because the stove has melted portions of it. The aluminium can't really take this amount of heat, so I'm going to have to redo it with either stainless or titanium. Probably stainless because it's cheap and available. Doing. I've certainly got some 
some steam coming off there, but we're not at a boil yet. out another useful feature of this stove is because the um, fuel is metered using a needle jet on a screw thread um, you can this is going as close to flat out as it as it as it will now I think I can maybe tweak a little bit extra fuel flow from it um, but yes you can uh, you can turn it down almost infinitely so so it, you can simmer on this stove as well. And started to see some small bubbles now, it's not quite a rolling, rolling boil, but uh, we're very close. simmering and that's a rolling boil and to turn it off you just turn the wheel uh, you'll see so you can turn the flame down so it would simmer quite happily at that you can turn it even lower than if you turn it all the way down that's it off <laughs> 